the respiratory system. For kids. Did you know that the lungs are the only human organ that can float on water? Seriously, it's true. Today, we are going to talk all about your lungs and how they are part of a bigger, super important system in your body called the respiratory system. The main purpose of the respiratory system is to bring oxygen into your body, which is pretty vital because all living things need oxygen to survive. That includes you. The main parts of the respiratory system include the lungs, nose, mouth, trachea, and pharynx. There is also an exchange of gases that happens between the circulatory system and the respiratory system inside the lungs, which we will talk more about later. First up, the lungs. The lungs allow you to take in oxygen, get rid of bad air, and talk. Wow. Your body has two lungs, which take up most of the space in your chest and are protected by your rib cage. The outside of the lungs is pink, sponge-like, and squishy. Fun fact, the lung on the left side of your body is smaller than the one on the right side because it needs to make extra room for the heart. Beat it, lungs! I gotta pump some blood! When you are tired or sleepy, your body has less oxygen. So, your brain sends a signal that causes you to yawn, which allows your body to take in more oxygen. Amazing, right? Located just below the lungs is the diaphragm. This is the dome-shaped muscle that works with the lungs to help you breathe. When you breathe in or inhale, the diaphragm tightens and flattens out. This allows the lungs more room to fill up with the air that is being breathed in, expanding the ribs and chest. Once the air is released or exhaled, everything returns to its normal size. Go ahead, take a nice deep breath and see for yourself. Another fun fact, hiccups can be caused by sudden movements of the diaphragm. The diaphragm might be irritated, a person might have eaten too fast, or there could be something in the blood which caused the hiccups. You inhale air through your nose or your mouth. If the air enters through your nose, it is filtered by tiny little hairs called cilia, which line the passageways of the nose and keep dust and other substances from entering the body. Cilia is also found throughout the respiratory tract. Once the air enters through the mouth or nose, it travels through the pharynx, or throat, down the trachea, or windpipe which is also lined with cilia. The cilia located in the trachea remove fluids and other unneeded substances out of the airway so that these substances do not enter the lungs. The pharynx is part of both the respiratory system and the digestive system. This is because it carries both food and air dividing them into two separate pathways. Here is an interesting fact. The epiglottis is a flap of tissue that covers the air-only passage of the pharynx when a person swallows. This keeps foods and liquids from entering the lungs. Without the epiglottis, you could choke, and your lungs would not work the way they are supposed to. Who knew something so small could be so important? After the air leaves the trachea, it travels through a series of branches located in the lungs. The bronchi are two air tubes located at the end of the trachea and carry air into the lungs. As you might expect, one of the tubes goes to the left lung and the other goes to the right lung. These branches eventually turn into thousands of tinier tubes called bronchioles. 
Each bronchiole is about the same thickness as the hair on a person's head. From there, the air ends up in air sacs called alveoli, which are located throughout the lungs. This is the place where the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place. Ever wonder where the carbon dioxide in your body comes from huh? and what this process is called? No. No? Well, we are going to tell you anyway. Carbon dioxide is produced in your cells through a process called diffusion. It is then removed from the body via your blood, which is pumped through the heart and finally released when you exhale. The exchange of oxygen from the air and carbon dioxide from the cells is called respiration. You know, like the respiratory system. After respiration, the red blood cells that surround the alveoli in the lungs absorb the oxygen and pass it into the blood through tiny blood vessels called capillaries. Here is a fascinating fact. There are 600 million alveoli inside a person's lungs to help with this process, which constantly supplies your entire body with oxygen. Finally, the lungs, heart, and most of the respiratory system are located in the chest cavity, which is also called the thorax. Sounds kind of like a Dr. Seuss character if you ask us. Now that we have learned together, let's review. Fill in the blank. The pharynx is another name for your blank. Throat. True or false. The process where oxygen from the air and carbon dioxide from the cells is exchanged is called diffusion. False. Diffusion is the process by which carbon dioxide is created in your cells. Respiration is the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Name one main part of the respiratory system. Answers can include lungs, nose, mouth, trachea slash windpipe, or pharynx slash throat. Well done, respiratory system sorcerers! In the time it took to watch this video, you probably inhaled and exhaled at least 75 to 100 times. Without the respiratory system, our bodies would not be able to breathe, which means we cannot survive without it. And by the end of the day, you will have probably taken about 20,000 breaths or more. Talk about a cool fact to share with your family and friends. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.